Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Today I want to show you a simple tip in Safari that can make browsing a lot easier. So if you've been using the web and web browsers for a long time like I have, you tend to think that things remain about the same. Browsers work about the same. You've got the back button, the forward button, and you can go through your history by continuing to click back. But of course, if you look in Safari, you can see that you can actually browse your history, go back and see all the pages by title or URL that you looked at today, yesterday, and back in time. But did you also know you can search through them? This makes it very easy to go and find something you were looking at the other day. Let me show you. So here I am in Safari and I've got the history menu here. I can see the things that I've been to recently. Here I can go and see what I was at yesterday and the day before, etc. But I can also just take a look at my history by choosing show all history. It's just down below here off the screen. When you do that you get a cover flow view which you don't have to look at. You can actually shrink that up there and you have your history and you can open it up and take a look at different days and the sites you're at. You can see the name of the site and the URL. Now if you browse a lot you may not be able to find what you want just by looking through it. That's why it, there's this search here. So you can search for something in your history and it will just bring up those items that match those search results. Now this seems pretty basic but it's very powerful if you start to use it a lot. For instance instead of bookmarking things just trust them to your history knowing that you've got at least a week's worth of history to go back to. Say you're shopping for a product and you're looking for the best price. You can look around and say you see it somewhere for $100 and after looking for a while you determine that's the best price. You could just search for $100 and the name of the product in your history and go back to that page. It's a lot better than bookmarking every single price page for every site you've been to. One way to think about it is think of your history in the same way you think of bookmarks except every page you go to is automatically bookmarked which creates a huge file of bookmarks that you're not supposed to browse through but you're supposed to search through to find what you want. Now of course searching will also search your bookmarks as well. So when you do bookmark something that's kind of sticking around forever whereas your history only sticks around temporarily. In your Safari preferences in the general tab you've got an item here remove history items and you can set it to after one month, two weeks, one week, a day, or a year or even have to do it manually so that it always keeps the things that you've been to. And of course with today's hard drives being huge, saving everything may not be a bad idea. And by the way to clear out your history just go to the history menu all the way at the bottom you'll see the item for clear history. Now you can use this whether or not you've set your history to be cleared manually or to be cleared every week or every month. I encourage you to try using your Safari browser history and see if it makes surfing the web easier for you. Till next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.